Let's rock. So here we're uh, kind of attempting to print a label out of the Enterprise UI on the desktop. Uh, so we enter our structure and our grid location. Hit print. And you'll see here that uh, right now my printer's not set up correctly, so I'm going to cancel. And I'll show you how to stand it up. So you'll go to your windows, you'll search printers. You'll go to the printers and scanners section. All right, you're going to manage this printer. It's the Zebra printer, but first we have to manage our stock. So we'll go to server properties. Um, you'll see that here we don't have any custom stocks. So we need to build one by clicking create a new form. You'll name it whatever you need to name it. I did mine as wide layout 54. That's in 54 inches wide. I go down here and I change the width to 54. And with that done, I'll save the form. Uh, now my stock's done, so I can close this. I'll go back to managing my printer. Once I load up, I'll get properties opened. I'll go to advanced. And I'll change my driver from the Zebra to a generic driver. So I'll click on generic and generic text only. Submit and finish. And I'll sign this as the new driver, right? So you'll see it in a drop down. Um, hit apply. Now you can change your stock going to general, clicking on preferences. You want it in portrait, in front to back, you want advanced. Scroll down to your new form, which is wide layout 54, and hit OK. Apply OK and move on. Um, now your printer's ready to print. Here you can see the Zebra printer is gone and generic text only printer is showing on the listing. That's what you want to use as your default print. See you in hell. Ready for action.